some really cool updates inside this collection so let's go some really amazing stuff is happening inside my tarantula collection since my last update on december 2023 and i am not talking about the stuff that happened or is happening currently inside this tarantula room but also the stuff that will happen in the nearest future since one of the spiders behind me uh, not the arachnarok spider i'm i'm talking about the psalmopeus pulcher which like predicted molted so now we just need to outrace the male spider which is slowly but steadily moving towards its end and yeah we need to feed the female here and hopefully we will have a tarantula pairing soon but let's talk about the stuff that i am really excited about because in this tarantula room there are two xx of two very special tarantulas one african devil and one beauty from brazil if i am not mistaken let's start with the african terror let's start with the heteroscodra maculata i need to have a stabilizer of some sort sitting right there behind this web curtain is a female heteroscodra maculata and right behind her is a huge egg sac or better to say an egg hammock because this species is making a hammock full of eggs and we are getting very close to the date we will take this egg sac and try to incubate it so fingers crossed this should be this or next week so yeah hopefully there will be a lot of slings so we were here let's get to this enclosure right here sitting right there well protected is an egg sac full of hopefully fertilized psalmopeus victory eggs so if i am lucky this will be so far my biggest breeding success and yeah fingers crossed everything will go well she's guarding the egg sac very well and that's all right because we want healthy small slings and also a nice little surprise somehow expected but not so quickly was that i saw my black beauty in come on they are oh, they are mating again uh, I saw them two days ago and they are back at work those crazy animals they are mating for like 24 26 hours sitting just like this and working on their offspring <laughs> keeping invertebrates always full of surprises this one surprised me although it was expected that they will made eventually sooner or later but yeah <laughs> and now we get to the better and sadder news because yeah there is stuff that i am a bit angry about yeah this is a personal failure of mine and a huge lesson learned this is the only lecosa tarantula that left inside my collection the only og tarantula the rest probably passed because the humidity was too high but i am not sure about that you see this spider which is currently sitting right here this spider needs to be kept on the more drier side and at the same time it needs to have water at hand currently i am just spritzing a bit of water inside on this side of this small enclosure here despite all the negativities that happened to my true spiders I'm happy that two of my tarantulas molted. On the left we have a Brachypelma hamori and on the right a fully mounted Vitalius chromatus molt. Right next to them we have those spiders so I can show you how magnificent they look. What a gorgeous tarantula. Absolutely fascinating. This tarantula is one of the first ones that I got when I came back into the hobby so I have a special connection with this little guy. Yes, this is a male and he even has his own name because a good friend of mine gave him a name. This is Coco. So let's give Coco a road because he's hungry after the malt. Yum yum yum. <laughs> oh, there's a happy dance. 
Happy dance, happy dance. I think there won't be any dance, so yeah. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> so let's see what is going on here. Here should be the Vitalius Hormatus. Let's try to lure her out with a tasty roach. Hello! Is she not interested? Oh, there, there she comes, there she comes. Hello? Oh well, maybe next time. So now we get to a little experiment that I want to conduct. You see, behind me on this shelf here are a few spiders that need to be rehoused. There are some spiderlings, with those there is no problem, they just need a cup with some ventilation holes and cocoa fiber and that's it. But there are also some juveniles and those juveniles are fossorial and arboreal, so they need a higher enclosure. In most cases I use something like this. So a plastic enclosure, you see it's quite milky and I don't really like that. I mean, this stuff is cheap, it's usable and it's solid with some ventilation holes, perfect. But I don't really like that this is milky. So I got something more expensive, but this one has really hard plastic and I'm wondering if I can get clean ventilation holes through this because I like aesthetics with my enclosures. So yeah, this is a bit more expensive, but yeah, it would be nice if I could see the spider doing its work through such beautiful clear plastic instead of this thing. Sometimes I envy you guys from the US that you have those beautiful AMAC boxes, they look so perfect for tarantula keeping. One, two, three. I think we can call this a success. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of plastic lying on this table and on my shirt and my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of plastic. A little bit of cleaning and this should be absolutely perfect. Okay, let's let's repeat that two more times. So here is everything prepared for the job that is in front of us. We have our enclosures, we have some cocoa fiber, there are some cork tubes and of course we have the spiders. Here we have an Enseocratella olivacea, we have a Caribena leta and a Hilobrachis species Blue Vietnam, a female. So yeah, this will be a tough job. And of course the almighty catch cup. So here are the enclosures, I think they came out quite nice. I really like that they are crystal clear so we can see how the tarantulas will grow. I'm especially curious about the Hilobrachis since yeah, it's a burrower and they are webbing up pretty strongly. So hopefully we will see how this tarantula will develop over time. By the way, talking about tarantulas, let's see how the mood of those little guys are. So let's start with the Caribena maybe. So here is the enclosure for the Caribena. Let's check if the tarantula is in the mood today. Um, it's sitting right down there behind this cork bark, so we need to shoot the tarantula out. And there is the little guy. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> he almost looks like a Neocholatella in say gold. Looks like this one will be in fact a female. 
Okay, I'm 90% sure that this is a female, so this is a good sign. Let's move on to the second one. Okay, let's get to the second tarantula and this one won't be so happy that we want to give him or her a new home. There it is, the Enziocratella olivacea. If I am not mistaken, this one comes from Tanzania, so Africa. And they have quite a punch when it comes to their venom. So before we make anything stupid, I will prepare an airlock so that the spider won't run away during the rehousing. So right back in a second. There, there the tarantula comes. There it is. There it is. Oh, uh oh, this looks a bit like a male. Barely visible, there is a dot. So this one is 90% a male. Yeah, there you go. Go down there, right there. Thank you. Beautiful tarantula. So, last tarantula for today. This will be probably a tough one to rehouse. Let's check the mood of the spider. It looks scared. <laughs> Although it has a very potent venom, since this is an Asian tarantula. Okay, let's figure out a way to get this tarantula out. <laughs> Look who's climbing right there. Dude, you're a terrestrial tarantula, not an arboreal. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Okay, yeah, Hilobrachis. Focus, focus. <laughs> I think this is the right moment to use the tarantula tom method. This is not something that I have used before, but this is absolutely the right moment to try it. So this was quite a challenge. Let's check if this is a female. Looks female to me. And the shine from the legs. Is he fighting? Come on, there is a fresh new hole for you. There, there you go. Good job. Good job. So there is the Hilabrachis. So all rehousing's done, the enclosures came out pretty nice and the tarantulas are now safe and secure in their new homes. If you like what you saw and don't want to miss how this collection will develop over time with all of my ups and downs, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always, thank you for watching. Toronto Hala out.